Space vehicle pre-count operations will start on my mark at 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello, you are watching Tess the Memes channel. I am Tess. My last name is not the meme. I wish it was. If you're like me and you like VHS tapes, then you probably love Goodwill. Although I'm sure they have great clothes there, they also have a wide VHS section. Think about how many people a day drop off their old VHS tapes, you know? Don't need that anymore. Goodbye. Okay, it's a ton. It's a, it's a crap ton. I went there today and I picked up four tapes. I'm not reading off a cue card. I, I'm staring at my root beer. I'm really thirsty. Hold on. That did not, that did not go as planned. <laughs> I'm back. That kind of sucked. Anyways, I went to Goodwill and picked up four of them. Four VHS tapes that we will now review. If you saw those and you're like, not interested, the exits, I mean, the exits not you, I mean, just I mean X out of your window. I'm going to do an in-depth review. Because I know if I were to be watching videos, I wouldn't want a 10-year-old shaking the camera. I would want someone who would actually film it slowly, film all sides of it, and the tape, the whole, the home run. Days and Confused is about a group of teenagers growing up in Texas, and it's the last day of school in 1996. Believe it or not, it only grossed about 8 million in box office, and really, yeah. <laughs> it is 1 hour and 43 minutes, rated R. Um, the tape itself is in good condition. The box is fair condition, it's a little scuffed up. But I really would expect no less from Goodwill. <laughs> now I'm going to take the tape out and show you the VHS. Alright. Here is the tape itself. The tape is in pretty good condition, honestly. I mean, if you'd like to see the film strip, great. The film strip couldn't be better. And that was my first pickup. On to the next! Alright, my next pickup is a 2000 Nickelodeon movie called Snow Day! This film, in a way, was sort of a flop. Nickelodeon tried to make a big deal about this film, and I don't think it did as well as they would have liked. Now, it was technically a box office hit. It made, I believe, about 62 million in theaters. It came out in February, and by October it was released onto VHS. Here, you can read the previews here. Overall, the case is in pretty good condition, I'd say. Pretty fair. A little scuffed, but like I said, I would expect no less coming from Goodwill. They did not rewind. 
Now I'm gonna have to take a couple minutes out of my precious time to rewind this. Get a little mad there. I hate when people don't rewind their tapes. Here you go. It's in pretty good condition. Besides the fact that some hooligan decided they were not gonna rewind it, they're like, screw it, no one's gonna buy this anyways. Well, they are wrong. I bought it, and I'm ticked. <laughs> Just kidding. My next pickup is one of my all-time favorite movies. Pulp Fiction! Pulp Fiction. Great. Great movie. Independent film, but it's a cult film. I mean, come on. Pulp Fiction. You, you can't honestly tell me if you've watched the movie that you don't like it. You just, it's impossible. Come on. And it's Special Collector's Edition by Two Thumbs Up, A Wild Ride by Siskel and Ebert. All right. I'll let you read the back here. Alright. Rated R. Overall the tape is in pretty good condition and the case is in pretty fair condition too. I'm pleased. Now let's see the tape here. Here's the tape. Now, the thing that I don't like about American tapes, and yes, I'm an American, I do not like that, ooh, that's weird, I've never seen that. What does that mean? Clear tape, I didn't even look at the, should check that out first. Um, the thing I do not like about American films is that we don't ever have the date on it like Canada's. Canada has the date on the side. Like, it'd be nice to know when this is produced. I don't know, is that just me? It's probably just me. Alright, my next pickup is the 2002 film, I Am Sam. Great movie, by the way. But normally I would not pick this up. The only reason I picked this up was because... You notice something weird about it. Hmm. For promotional use only, not for sale or rental. I just find that really odd. <laughs> I've never actually seen that before in person. I've um, seen videos about people that have picked up like a promotional copy of Harry the Spy, but I've never seen a. I've never seen an actual promotional copy, and I gotta tell you, they're kind of weird. For promotional use only, not for sale or rental. Pretty much with promotional copies that I've seen, they just have reviews on the back of them from other other from other companies. I don't know why I said that word so weird. Other, other year. PG-13. Alright, I'm gonna take it out. And this is what's the weird part about it, is the tape is weird. <laughs> so, the title just says, I am Sam with some sort of serial number, and the approximate runtime, 134 minutes, for screening purposes only. Very weird. Very weird. I just... 7 out of 140 copies. So, yeah. <laughs> pretty rare, I'd say. I'd, I'd have to say that's pretty rare. And again, this has some blank tape at the end of it. Wow. Alright. I'm interested to see what this is. I'm sure it's just gonna have some interviews about the cast, and then the movie's gonna play, but still. I like these kind of finds. Alright, and that thumbs it up for my pickups. Um, this was my first video, in case you didn't know, you might not have, you might have just stumbled upon this video. Please feel free to like and subscribe and comment, and tell me what you liked about the video or what you didn't like, what I could be doing differently. Like I said, I'm new to this. I'm not new to YouTube, I'm just new to having a channel centered around my hobby, which is collecting VHS tapes, so, alright.